Something very sinister is happening in the Appalachians, and we need to fucking talk about it. Trigger warning. Anybody that's sensitive and can't handle hearing about this, go ahead and scroll. For those that are like me, that cannot allow this bullshit to continue, listen up. We have already seen the videos. We have already heard the eyewitness accounts. People stating, trigger warning, piles of unalived individuals being found in riverbanks, on the lakes, in the streets, in their cars, and nobody seems to want to come to retrieve them. The fact that we could even allow that to happen, like the absolute utter disrespect for these people. These people were grandmothers and grandfathers and children and aunts and uncles. Like since when do we not respect our dead? But then it gets worse. As you listen to these videos, as you watch these videos, you see the devastation. Whole roads are completely wiped out. And I understand that people are not familiar with mountain areas. They think, oh, it's one road. You go around. Yet that's not how it works. Most mountain regions maybe have one, maybe two roads that go in and out. And when those roads are wiped out, those people are completely abandoned up there. FEMA set up camp in an accessible area and has told multiple people that they will not bring aid to people in unaccessible areas, which makes you wonder why the fuck they're even there. But that's okay. We have volunteers, right? Volunteers that'll go out, private individuals that are going to go out and help these people. Yeah, they're being threatened with arrest. People brought their privately owned helicopters to try to offer aid to get these people off the mountains or at least bring them supplies so they don't starve to death or die from dehydration because it has now been six full days of no water access for these people and they're being threatened with arrest. Trucks have come to the region with supplies. Their tires are being slashed. Something very sinister and evil is happening here. Then you throw into the mix that there's an entire source of lithium under these mountains. And all of a sudden, things start stacking right in place, don't they? I just saw this post on X. And again, I try not to say that it's true. So that's for you, TikTok. I'm not trying to spread any misinformation. This is for educational purposes. However, they were specifically speaking about the government held a meeting in Chimney Rock and basically informed these people that the entire town will be bulldozed over, bodies and all. And that now the federal government owns that land. This is a fucking land grab. They do not care about these people that are stuck in the mountains. They do not care about these people that were unalived by this. And forgive me for sounding absolutely insane, but we all know that they've been able to manipulate weather for quite a long time. This technology has existed for a long time. So how am I supposed to believe that this is all coincidence? And how is it that I'm supposed to believe that this kind of lack of support is an accident? I'm absolutely enraged. And I am not going to stop talking about this until there is some kind of resolution for these people. I am but one person. I don't have the resources to help. I don't have the time to go down there. I don't have the funds to donate. But the one thing I can do is use my fucking voice. And I'm not going to shut up about this. These people do not deserve this. And for any of you idiots that think that they do, just know that you're next. We allowed this to happen in Maui. And now we're allowing it to happen again in the Appalachians. How long until it's your neighborhood or your town or your family being left to rot in the streets? 
We need to fucking stop this. Please share. And if you're going to donate, only donate to churches. Apparently, FEMA can't take the donations from the churches. So find local churches in the area, donate directly to them. Or if you know somebody in the area, donate directly to them. Because FEMA is not helping at all. Not to mention that they're stating they're apparently out of money. But we could send billions of dollars to the Ukraine. I'm so fucking sick and tired of this. And I don't know what it's going to take for my fellow American to get to that point either. This is absolutely fucking deplorable. And it needs to stop. God bless the people of the Appalachians. My heart, my soul is with you. I pray that God puts his hands on you and delivers you to safety because you truly are surrounded by evil right now. And people like me will not stop talking about it. I don't give a fuck what TikTok does.